What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper today back again with another HP Pavilion video. Recently I got Mortal Kombat 1, or MK1 for short. Just came out a few months ago. Um, I honestly did, wasn't really keeping up with it. I haven't really been keeping up with a lot of games besides Modern Warfare 3. But, and that video is coming next. Modern Warfare 3, we'll be testing that on the HP Pavilion as well here in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe as always. Here we are on MK1, as you just saw the settings that I did, we got medium for the graphic settings. Uh, most Mortal Kombat games like this, I'm, you can't really get a higher FPS counter than 60, so I just put it on 60 and put uh, V-Sync turned on. I am playing as Omni-Man, one of my favorite characters, on here, and I'm going to just do a quick fight here to show y'all kind of how well it plays. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys, of course, the scoop on that. Uh, I have no issues with uh, Mortal Kombat 1 here at all. Um, now, I do take in mind, I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this build, and I will clarify that this is on an SSD. So do remember, the uh, HP Pavilion comes with an SSD. It's built in, obviously, for the hard drive. Um, some games, you know, from a lot of people don't know this, some games will actually not play to their highest performance or best performance if it is not on an SSD. Regular hard drives are a lot more choppier, a lot more laggier, typically. But if you'll get an SSD, and what does that mean is a solid-state drive, it will definitely play your games better um that's just overall all my games are on an ssd i have an external ssd and an internal one in my main pc and i have an external one for my hp pavilion so i can put more games on it as well that's how i'm able to bring all these games on there is an external hard drive i will leave a link of one of those the samsung one that i use it is two terabytes um in the link or in the description down below so if you guys do want more storage for your HP Pavilion and you don't want to, you don't have the hassle of uh, taking it apart, putting in a new SSD internally, you can get an external one, which is what I highly recommend, because you can swap it from computer to computer, like my PC to my laptop, and I believe you can even use some, obviously, for like PS5 and the Xbox Series X too, so you can use it for all of that. That being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you can watch the rest of it and see the gameplay for yourself. Like I said, it was pretty smooth. I didn't have any lag, any issues like that. Um, I, I even played online here in a few, uh, I, not in the video, but I did play online some myself. Didn't have any issues either there, which more of that's going to come down to your internet. As far as the gameplay itself and how the game runs on the laptop, had no issues whatsoever, and it played, like I said, flawlessly. That being said, guys, again, remember to like and subscribe as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 